The central bank wants to lower a fiscal deficit, hold expenditure steady and attract foreign currency inflows. To do the latter, it's relaxed foreign exchange controls and will give added comfort to investors. The bank is working with the African Export Import Bank, African Bank, to put in place a 1.5 billion facility that is earmarked for the provision of guarantees in the, in the sum of 1 billion to investment coming into the country and for liquidity support of up to $500 million. Such guarantees and liquidity support are necessary to protect investors' funds from country risk and in doing so, enhancing investor confidence. It's hoped that will unlock more FDI, which has been outstripped by diaspora remittances. Zimbabweans abroad sent $782 million home between May and December last year. The central bank is aiming to mobilize more through bonds for its top two exports. The diaspora tobacco production financing bond will be issued to Zimbabweans in the diaspora to finance tobacco production. Bondholders will be paid capital plus interest as a single blade payment at the end of the tobacco selling system. The diaspora gold production financing bonds will be issued to Zimbabwe in the diaspora to finance gold production by small gold miners. Coupon payments will be made on a, on a monthly basis as gold is sold. Like many of the things that Zimbabwe's new administration has said and done, the monetary policy statement was for laying the groundwork on which Zimbabwe can build for long-term benefits. But that may be to the disappointment of many here who are looking for quick fixes to some of the immediate challenges they're facing, like a long-running cash shortage. Farai Mokutuya, CGTN, Harare, Zimbabwe.